So in this video, we're going to use trigonometry once again to solve for x. So let's start with number one. So with number one, we're going to start off with this 60 degree over here. And then we're going to look at what we have. Well, we've got this x over here and we've got this 12. So the x, well, that's going to be the adjacent. So we've got the adjacent. And then we've got the 12, which is the hypotenuse. And so if we remember Sokotoa, which is S-O-H, C-A-H, T-O-A, which of those three, either sin, cos, or tan, uses the adjacent and the hypotenuse? Well, that's cos, right? You can see that cos has the a and the h, which is the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So what you then say is that the cos of 60 is equal to the adjacent, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is 12. As with what we saw in the previous video, to get this 12 to the other side, you're going to end up multiplying like that. And so x is going to be equal to 12 cos 60. And if you type all of that in on the calculator, you're going to get an answer of 6. Moving on to number 2, so we start off with the angle, which is the 20 degree. We look at what we have, which is the 10, and we have the x. So the 10, well, that's the opposite, and the x, that's the hypotenuse. And so what we have is the opposite and the hypotenuse, and so that's going to be sin. And so what we do is we say that the sin of 20 is equal to the opposite, which is 10, over the hypotenuse, which is x. And so now things are a little bit different with this one. So I'm going to show you how to solve something like this. So the more structured and the longer approach would be to realize that it is a equation. And so you need a common denominator. And that common denominator would be x. And so you would have to multiply the bottom part by x. But what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. And so we're going to end up with x sin 20 over x equals to 10 over x. Then what you'd have to do is, because the denominators are now the same, you can just cross those out. And so we're going to end up with x sin 20 equals to 10. And so to get x alone, you're going to have to divide by the sin of 20. And so you're going to end up with 10 over the sin of 20. But let's see what actually happened. So what we had was that the sin of 20 was equal to the 10 over x. So what happened is that this x had to go to the top somehow. So we took it to, you can imagine us taking it to the left hand side like that. So it became x sin 20 equals to 10. And then to get x alone, you had to take this sin 20 and you had to divide on the other side and so it went to the bottom like that. And so if you had to go type that all in on the calculator, you're gonna end up with a value of 29,24 as your x value. So let's just practice a little bit more on how to rearrange the equations. So let's say we have x equals to a over b, for example. Let's use c instead. Don't always have to use x. And let's say we want to get b by itself. Then b is currently at the bottom, and that's not a good thing. So what we do is we have to somehow get it to the top. So it becomes bc equals to a. And then to get the b alone, you would have to divide by c. And so you'd have b is equal to a over c. And so what actually happens is that this c and this b, they simply switch places. Another example would be if we have c equals to a over b. And if we're trying to get a by itself, well, that's quite easy because then we just have to move the b to the other side. And so because it's at the bottom, it's going to end up going to the top. And so you'll end up with bc is equal to a. And so if we had d equals to e over f, and you wanted f by itself, well, your first step would be to get it to the top. So it would become f d equals to e. Then you get f alone by dividing by d. And so you have e over d. And then a last one would be if we have g equals to h over i. And if you want to get h by itself, well, then you just need to move the i to the left. And so it just ends up going next to the g like that. So anything that's at the bottom, if you take it to the other side, it ends up at the top. And anything that was at the top, and you take it to the other side, it ends up at the bottom.